Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. Very common problem with video eight tapes, okay? Dirty heads, same problem with all these old tapes here. This particular one here is from 1988. December 1988 was the first recording. So the first portion played fine. And I'll show this, and this recorded fine as well. And let's have a look here. So nice you know and then it and then it starts to drop now it could be the tape or it could be the head itself but that one indication back there could be where the tape there we go right there you start to see it now this is very common so if i put the tape in again and i play it because when i went to it and it looked like it was done and it's blue screen and you think oh the tape's done now most companies are like uh, well, the, the others are all running fine, but this one here, did they not record anything on it? Most companies, hourly staff, they don't care. They're like, great, I can go home now. Instead of checking and hitting fast forward, and then boom, you can see there's footage there when you hit fast forward, and it just goes, and it just flickers and disappears. So there's footage there. So that means one of two things. Either there was a problem with the camera or the tape back in the day or due to it being uh, stored incorrectly, uh, you know, but telltale sign, eight millimeter cleaning head, uh, these things sealed on eBay, you're looking at like a hundred bucks. I'm not kidding you. That is the going rate. You might find some that are opened, uh, but most of them are from Japan. Um, and they are not cheap because they don't make them anymore, but I'm putting one in here. Let's have a look. This already opened cleaning. Now they're ridiculously expensive. <laughs> you treat them like gold and you might find some of a couple cheaper, but good luck. So this is going to clean the heads. This is going to do not a crazy clean. It usually works most of the time. Um, otherwise, the uh, the side panel has to be taken off and clean the head with um, all this type of stuff here, chamois tips and contact cleaner. Look at this. They just clean the head on this one here. This is essential for video transfers. Um, and this is why if you are shopping around for a company, you need to see high, high Google review scores, okay? With hundreds of reviews. Because now 2023, I'm making this video now, um, all these video heads are clogging, the tapes have fallen apart, uh, your stuff might look like gold. This particular customer, look how dirty the cases are. The tapes were quite clean, but your stuff might be so well taken care of and the customer whose tapes go in before your tapes are filthy and then your tape is picking up all the crap that has just been smeared on the heads from a previous customer that left them outside in a sweaty barn in the south with crazy humidity. So I'm hitting play now. This is not happening. So, yeah, it goes. All right, so this is what I do in these cases. It could be, again, the head needs a deeper clean, or it could be the tape. And the way that you find out if it's the tape is you run it on other equipment. And I'm gonna second it here, and I give it a couple goes on different players. Yeah, still, still got issues. So let's do this. I'm gonna give it another go on a video eight VCR here. Let's see, hopefully this is all hooked up. All right, so this is a Sony video eight VCR. And just going to fire up the software. All right. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
Mm, let's see. Yeah, not liking it at all. Unfortunately, it looks like it's the tape. Um, but I am going to give it another heave-ho. I don't like to say never, never. Sometimes you can fast forward it, rewind it completely. It can unstick the tape. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Anyway, what I'm going to do here is a provisionary is to fast forward and rewind it, but anyway, that is going to take some time, um, but I do go through all these steps to make sure that, is it the tape? Is it the player? Um, it's always a crapshoot uh, with these things, but I have seen on this customer's job um, uh, the same kind of issues happening. Um, the things we used to record. Um, <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, and all of these tapes are from the late 80s, early 90s. But the rest of them are all coming through pretty good. I did notice a few of them had some quality issues here and there, which tells me that the camera possibly had moisture on the heads. That's another thing uh, with humid climates going from... Uh, if you were at Disney World, let's say, uh, and you were outside and it's August in Orlando and it's ridiculously hot and humid, then you would go into an air-conditioned building, then back outside to humidity and just that change in the humidity levels and the weather and the actual temperature can um, screw up the heads and screw up the recordings um, and uh, put moisture on the heads, condensation on the heads, and it screws the videotape up. And I know this from my own experience when I was in Thailand and Singapore back in the late 90s, very humid climates, and then when I got back, all my tapes were just done. So um, it does happen, but I'm going to give this one more go. But this is the kind of thing that I do here at Got Memories. I do charge a lot more than all these silly online box companies like you see here. They're absolute, they're terrible. They don't care about your stuff. If there's a problem with your tape, they're not investigating as to why. And they just put a, a sticker on it saying, hey, your tape's bad and the digital copy looks like crap, but it's actually their player. Um, I do have right now <laughs> a customer that is, uh, this is a legacy box box. Let me open it here and see. And this happens a lot. People, uh, let's have a look. Um, people do send me after seeing my YouTube videos and going, wait a minute, <laughs> that guy's up to something. Or not up to something, onto something. And these guys are up to something. Um, and, uh, hold on a second. There we go. Yep. <laughs> I'm not going to show their uh, their email, but yeah, this is very typical. See, look, legacy box, and uh, got memories. Um, so yeah, it, I see this a lot, and uh, where people have, oh, these here, these are mini DVDs, and yeah, look, they put stickers on them. Sorry, weren't this is a type of analog media we're unable to digitize. Even though it's digital, it's not analog. Um, and then they put, that feels like videotapes or, yeah, so they've, they've bought the box, they've sent all their stuff off, and then they just ship it back and they don't, uh, they don't transfer it because I don't know why. Mini DVDs are, hold on, I'm doing this one-handed. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, oh, the camera. Their original camcorder they've put in per my instructions. So, yes, very, very common. Avoid that company. And if you don't take my word for it, go to Facebook, Instagram, look at the comments on their ads, and it is mind-blowing. Um, the... <laughs> 
Um, and I'm actually back over here. Let's see. I fast forwarded that tape, rewind it. it and that's the other thing is these video eight tapes take forever to rewind. Um, so anyway, if you would like to get a quote from me, gotmemories.com, I do have minimum charges on anything that I do. So if you've got one videotape, unfortunately, yeah, I got minimum charges. Um, if you're looking for the bargain basement, cheapest price, don't waste your time or my time. Um, you know, if you're shopping around for the lowest bid, you're gonna end up more than likely with absolutely atrocious, crappy looking transfers um, and you get what you pay for. In 2023, when this video is being made, these videotapes here, 1988, you know, 35 years old. They've been sitting around forever. They were made to last 10 years. So this equipment is becoming in short supply, spare parts. These head cleaners cost a hundred bucks each. There is a bottleneck of equipment, it's very short supply of all the equipment to keep all this stuff running clean. Um, and very few companies that take this seriously. They're like, oh, this is easy. It's not, it's a pain in the ass. Um, and if you're looking to do this yourself, all the best, I honestly, um, you know, but if you wanna have a nice clean copy of everything, you've got it all organized like this. And then what you get back is, uh, everything on a drive or a download link. And then you can just click on any file and go that quickly through the whole thing. Audio levels loud, I boost the audio as well. So everything's a lot louder. Legacy Box, South Tree, Kodak Digitizing, they're all the same company. They do not boost the audio. So you can barely hear the audio on a laptop or mobile devices. This is kind of the level you hear typically. But yeah, every, everything's loud and me, clear picture, any blanks, no charge. Um, and I go through, if there are any issues, do my best to get a crystal clear picture on it. Um, yes, anyway, that's enough of me rambling here. Um, let me just go back over here. <laughs> It's, it does become a bit of an obsession for me to try and get. See, look, there we go. The picture's back. Whether that's a bad section, but I'm going to rewind that. Especially when you see, you know, on the labeling Christmas 1988, and you see like all these family events, birthdays, that's all they have. And people are putting that trust and faith in me that I'm going to get something from it. And I go through, here's another one that's gone. See, this one here, eject tape. See that flashing right there? So it stopped. Let's go back, because that was playing fine a moment ago. And then you see, look, it goes that typical scraggliness there. And then it's prompting to eject and sometimes it's the tape has become unspooled at the top but it looks okay uh, let's put it back in and see uh, let's see what we're working with here it's constant monitoring constantly yeah look there we go but it's still a little bit crappy let's see yeah, and it's gone again, and it's back. Okay, so I'm recording that. I'm gonna keep my eye on it. And that's the other thing, is keeping your eye on every single thing that's going, because you need to see that. So many companies I've been to and seen, well, I know what's going on, is they'll have all these VCRs just stacked high, and they've got one switcher between that's just selecting every now and then just to check on it. But meanwhile, you know, they can only see one player going and not all of them. So that's why it's one-to-one -one and I can look around the room and see everything. See, that one's behaving itself now. And I guarantee you 99% of the time with transfer companies, they see blue screen, they go, oh, the tape's done. And you, <laughs> it was 48 minutes on there. And then 
there's an hour and 20 minutes or so left of footage, but they go, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Now you're in this back and forth game of contacting them, getting stuff redone, absolute drama. What I have to do with this now is I do recall here now this, and I've got a red dot by it. That was a problem earlier, this tape. So I've got to take three, three files and then join all these together which isn't rocket science by any means, but if you do we use like QuickTime Player, you can just drag it over and then add to it. So then I've got to, oops, I've got to add all of these together and then render it as one file. That one over here has finished. So I'm just gonna start this from scratch. Um, and uh, give that a second here. Sometimes it does take a moment to get going. Oh, shit, I'm going to bring it over to the original. Oh, there we go. I'm going to let this go now. Screw up. There we go. Is it going? Why isn't it going? There we go. There we go. I'm actually going to start that over again because I got this line two indent on it and I don't like that on the screens. And um, I see with a lot of companies that they keep all of that on there and I hate it. And I know that Legacy Box is a complete and utter culprit uh, guilty handed with that. I see line two, three, four. And so, yeah, you can kind of get a little bit of a, a back end view of the steps, what's involved to get a high quality transfer and all the little problems that pop up. Um, and what I do here to make sure that everything works correctly and looks as good as it can. There we go, nice clear picture. Um, and I do have some, uh, let's have a look here. That one's going good as well. So yeah, if you have got a ton of stuff, yes, it's going to add up. So you have to do the math of what you spent on all the camcorders over the decades together combined and then go, right, I spent $7,000 on cameras from 1985 up to 2002 and then go, right, I got all this stuff. Hey, it's gonna cost money. Um, either transfer it well or throw it away. <laughs> um, I don't know, I don't know what to say. But I've been doing this a long time, so everyone's got their, uh, you know, their own logic for uh, figuring out what to do with this stuff and whether it's worth the money to get it digitized or not. But anyway, I'm leaving that with you. We've got tons of other videos in the channel. All the best.